Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Bombshell. GOP investigators have, a, have evidence that Christopher Steele approached FBI in July, the same day Comey exonerated Hillary Clinton. The, the unclassified memo shows the that shows former FBI Director James Comey, Andrew McCabe, Yates, and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein misled the FISA court. The Democrats are unhinged and desperate to release their spin junk memo in response to Noon's bombshell. Ranking member of the House Intel Committee, Adam Schiff, gave us perhaps a sneak peek into what the Democrats are going to push back with and their memo set to be released next week. It looks like the Dems are banking on none other than Papadopoulos being the nexus of the Russian collusion investigation rather than Hillary's phony dossier. On Saturday morning, Adam Schiff attacked President Trump on Twitter after the president tweeted this memo totally vindicates Trump in probe, but the Russian witch hunt goes on and on. There was no collusion and there was no obstruction. The word now used because after one year of looking endlessly and finding nothing, collusion is dead. This is an American disgrace. Now Schiff responded to a POTUS uh, with a tweet as well that says, Quite the opposite, Mr. President. The most important fact disclosed in this otherwise shoddy memo was the FBI investigation began in July 2016 with your advisor, Papadopoulos, who was secretly discussing stolen Clinton emails with the Russians. Now Adam Schiff is being very deceptive in his response to the President. Papadopoulos wasn't even discussing the Podesta emails, which were blasted out to the public via WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks in July of 2016. Papadopoulos was discussing Hillary's missing emails in April of 2016, a month before the Podesta emails were even given to WikiLeaks. Now, these Hillary emails are completely separate from the Podesta DNC emails. Furthermore, Republican investigators have evidence that dossier author Christopher Steele met with FBI on July 5, 2016, which is the exact same day former FBI Director James Comey exonerated Hillary Clinton. Now, Solom John Solomon of the Hill reported this bombshell news. It says Republican investigators say that they have evidence that Steele first approached the FBI with his allegations on July 5, 2016, the same day then FBI Director James Comey announced he would not pursue criminal charges against Clinton for passing more than 100 classified documents through her private email server. Now here's a brief timeline of those events. On June 9th of 2016, Trump Jr. met with Russian lawyer Natalie, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, uh, Veselinskaya. I think that's how it's pronounced, in Trump Tower. Now, Veselinskaya also met with Fusion GPS founder Glenn Simpson on June 9th before and after the Trump Tower meeting. Now, on June 20th of 2016, date of the first report compiled in a Christopher Steele dossier, June 27th of 2016, then Attorney General Loretta Lynch and former President Bill Clinton met on the Phoenix International Airport tarmac to discuss golf and grandkids. The FBI scrambled to cover up the scandalous meeting. Now, on July 5th of 2016, Republican investigators now have evidence Steele approached the FBI on this date with concerns then-candidate Donald Trump was working with the Russian. Also on July 5th of 2016, then-FBI Director James Comey gives a press conference exonerating Hillary Clinton of her criminal email investigation. In late July, according to Comey's testimony to House Intel Committee, he opened a probe into Trump's connections to Russia. Um, now, August 6th of 2016, Hillary Clinton sends out her first of uh, eight tweets about Trump's connections to Russia. September 23rd, uh, Michael Isikoff of Yahoo News runs a story about Trump's campaign advisor Carter Page and his possible secret channels to Russia. This Yahoo News story has ended up being used on the FISA application. On October 21st of 2016, the FBI sought and received a FISA warrant on Carter Page using intelligence and Hillary's phony Russia dossier. Three FISA renewals were subsequently granted using the same fraudulent dossier. On October 31st of 2016, with just days to go until the election day, David Korn of Mother Jones broke uh, the story of a veteran spy who gave the FBI information on Trump's alleged connections to Russia. 
Christopher Steele, the British spy and author of the Garbage Dossier, was not named in this Mother Jones report. Only hints of the dossier were published. The salacious claims were admitted. On January 10th of 2017, BuzzFeed publishes entire Russia dossier. January 24th of 2017, Peter Strzok ambushed General Flynn with the help of McCabe with a surprise interview about his conversations with Russian Ambassador uh, Kisilov. Uh, um, this led to Flynn's firing. Now, on March 2nd of 2017, Jeff Sessions recuses himself from the Russian investigation. Rod Rosenstein subsequently takes over as Deputy Attorney General. May 17th of 2017, Robert Mueller is appointed a special counsel by Deputy uh, Attorney General Rod Rosenstein to investigate Trump-Russia collusion during the 2016 election. Now, Chairman Noon's FISA memo says that Papadopoulos was mentioned in Carter Page's FISA application. However, there is zero evidence of any cooperation or conspiracy between Carter Page and George Papadopoulos. Also, according to the memo, it was Trump-hating FBI agent Peter Strzok. He also discussed an insurance policy against Trump, a Trump victory, who opened a counterintelligence investigation into Trump in late July based on the Papadopoulos information. Since there is no way a FISA application would have been approved based on hearsay from a couple of drunk dudes in a bar, the FBI had to take information from the dossier to the FISA court. Disgraced FBI Director, um, Deputy Director Andrew McCabe said under oath in December of 2017 testimony to the House Intel Committee that a FISA warrant would never have been sought nor granted, but not for the Hillary, Hillary's phony Russia dossier. Now, the Russia dossier paid for, for by Hillary's camp and FBI is what set the entire Trump-Russia collusion winch hunt into motion, not the Papadopoulos drunken banter. Now, Julia Assange killed the Papadopoulos theory in one tweet, one tweet um, from today, or from yesterday, sorry. He says, big puzzle. Why does hashtag FBI claim its, its investigation is based on hashtag Papadopoulos hearing in April? Russians have thousands of Clinton emails. Simply cross -check, a simple cross-check shows that hashtag WikiLeaks, hashtag DNC leaks weren't obtained from DNC until the 25th of May, and an investigation started in July after um, WL was WikiLeaks has published. So be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below, and give me your opinion on this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.